I really, I really wanted like the first video of my new hair to look spectacular, but instead I bring you this. And there goes the sun. Wow. Oh wait, I cannot escape the bad lighting. And we're back. Alrighty, you may be wondering, Connor, what the heck are you doing? This is an ice pack because right before I wanted to film, and the sun's going away again. Right before I was going to film this video, I had a little bit of a red face situation as per Accutane and I didn't really want to film a video with a red ass face, so. But for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, this is my new hair. It doesn't look too crash hot at the moment because it's got about 5,000 layers of dry shampoo in it because I was experimenting with like volume and stuff, but you know when you reach that point of too much dry shampoo and it just becomes like a brick? I'm almost at that point. <laughs> I had curled it a couple days ago. So so you know when you wake up and it's kind of like not really curly anymore but it's not straight, it's in a weird position and my hair straightener broke so I don't have one, I ordered one like last night so I made it look even worse, wow, okay. Today's gonna be my seven month Roaccutane update video. If you've been following along my skin journey, you guys will know that I am on Accutane. I have been for seven months now. This is my eight month on Roaccutane. If you've never seen me before, I really recommend to go and watch my skin story because I explained my history, what I've tried, and like the reasons why I wanted to go on Rakutane. And then you can see, no, I think I did a two month and then I did a four month. Have I only done two updates? Wow. I didn't do a five month because nothing really changed. And then I just lost track of time. I was gonna do six months, but here we are at seven. So just as a quick overview for those of you who don't know what my situation is, I am on 30 milligrams of Rakutane a day and I have been for the past seven months. My dosage is a little bit lower. That's why my course is a bit longer. Normally people would go five or six months, whereas mine's gonna be nine months. I'm also on the pill with Yasmin as well. A lot of people ask if I'm on the pill. Yes, I'm on the pill for skin reasons and contraceptive reasons. I feel like my Accutane journey has been smooth sailing with like some storms every now and then, if that makes sense. It hasn't been the worst experience, but it definitely hasn't been smooth sailing completely with no hiccups. There have been some hiccups. Okay, hopefully the lighting isn't too bad. I've just closed the blind because the sun keeps changing every three seconds. So since this is my third update video, obviously a lot of the symptoms are pretty much the same. So I definitely still have have quite dry lips. However, ever since I got my lips done, I definitely have noticed a pretty dramatic difference in the dryness actually. And that's because lip filler like hydrates your lips. So I didn't even think of that as like a thing that would happen, but it has. So that has definitely been a plus. Don't get me wrong, they're still dry and I still walk around with lip balm. I own like 5,000 lip balms at this point. <laughs> it's not at the point where if I don't like reapply every like 20 minutes, my lips are gonna fall off, which is great. <laughs> Moving on to the other symptoms, my skin on my body has definitely been, I wanna say like more affected than my actual face, if that makes sense, because basically the skin on my body has become really, really dry, especially on my legs. And every now and then it'll feel like sandpaper in certain areas and it'll get it like here. It's gone at the moment, thank God, but it's so strange. It, it feels like sandpaper because it's so dry. I really have to keep on top of moisturizing. Actually, I'll show you my favorite moisturizer that I love. This is my, probably my favorite moisturizer that I have. I use a lot, like I have so, so many like gradual tanner moisturizers, nice smelly ones. But if you're after something to like hydrate your skin and like make it feel better, not just smell better, this is really good. It's the Nivea Rich Nourishing 48 Hour Intense for dry to very dry skin. So I think they have like a few different types. If you have really dry skin, make sure you get the one that says dry to very dry because the other ones will be a lot lighter. This is really thin. Thick. Even though like thicker moisturizers can sometimes be a pain because they don't like sink in as fast. This one, when, once it does sink in, it leaves like a glow to my skin and it really moisturizes it. Perfect for when I want to tan as well because you guys know I love to tan. Dry skin and tan are not friends. My tan lately hasn't been looking that crash hot, if I'm gonna be honest. I like to think it's not my fault. <laughs> and whenever I don't moisturize and I've had like a shower and if I exfoliate especially, 
my skin will become like itchy and it's really uncomfortable so I it like forces me to moisturize because otherwise it's like I feel like I have a rash everywhere I also really like this Bath and Body Works cashmere glow one it's okay it just kind of smells nice it's like a really nice in between so I do like this I'll often like mix them together just so I can smell pretty you know and then this I have recently discovered this and it's probably like the best intense rich moisturizing cream that I've ever come across I don't know what video I watched I think it was like a dermatologist talking about her skincare routine it's by the brand called Wellada I think and it's skin food rich intensive skincare for face and body for very dry and rough skin this is like intense I will use this on my hands on my knees like wherever I'm super super dry and I will also put it on my face and this is like intense I got this from Flannery's actually and I'm definitely gonna go and get like the full size because it's so thick that it's actually difficult to rub out like rub into your skin if that makes sense but it's so moisturizing I really like using it on my hands let me just show you so that is what it looks like there because you know when you put moisturizer on it's kind of gone after a while this repairs my skin I wish I found this earlier on in my Accutane journey this and this are like heavy duty this makes me smell nice <laughs> but funnily enough, even with my body being so dry and like even my scalp is quite dry, I have also noticed that I, I don't even get oily. I haven't had like an oily scalp since I started Rakutane. Like it's crazy. I haven't really been getting dandruff anymore. I think I did at one point start to get a bit flaky, but it's kind of gone now. So I am happy about that. <laughs> In particular, my hands get really dry. If I don't moisturize them, they, like I said with my arms, they feel like sandpaper. It's not as bad at the moment. Moment. there's like slight bumps but I'm gonna insert some photos of what they can look like especially they just get burnt really easily and they'll get like a rash on them which is not cute and tan such a first world problem but tan looks awful on top of it this one's not too bad it's hard to explain it's like it's just like a ton of like little bumps on the top of my skin it's only on my hands so another side effect that I've noticed kind of in the last couple few months is if I use like skincare products that are a little bit too harsh for my skin specifically ones that are like skin renewal like I'm not using anything like crazy like acids or whatever but like sometimes certain serums and especially if I don't moisturize my skin well enough I will get dry skin on the corners of my mouth I'll insert some photos this is me with like foundation on and you can see how flaky the skin in that area is and it's primarily because I've been using like serums too many days in a row or whatever because my skin is so sensitive and I haven't moisturized plus we're in winter now so the weather's a lot cooler my skin is a lot more dry it's so strange I get like these random patches of dry skin only on the corners of my mouth Nowhere else on my face, only on the corners of my mouth. So weird, right? You can kind of see. It's not as bad because last night I actually put pawpaw ointment on it, which this side's pretty much all gone. But while I'm zoomed in, I might as well give you a little like close up. So this is the right side of my cheek. Not as red anymore, thank God. But yeah, you can see I don't, I haven't had a pimple literally in months. If I do get pimples, they're like so small and I don't even see them. Look, you might say that's a pimple, but that's kind of from the dry skin. <laughs> I don't really have any pitted scarring, which I'm really lucky for, but I do have like redness. And like when you get really up close, you can see like hyperpigmentation, which is the main thing. And then this side, I don't know which side is like worse. This side looks a bit more red, but that is this side. And then my forehead looks the same. Also quickly want to mention, I do get quite dry right in between the middle of my eyebrows. Because if I'm going to be real with you guys, sometimes I am lazy with my skincare and I don't moisturize properly. That's when this happens and the center of my forehead will get really dry. But it's really annoying because when I put foundation on the top of it, it looks all scaly and dry and I'm like, really? As long as I'm on top of moisturizing, everything is usually pretty smooth sailing. <laughs> I think it was in my previous Accutane video I mentioned that I get my eyes get quite itchy and that's definitely 
stopped, I think. I just have really, really, really sensitive eyes. Everything about me is, is so sensitive at the moment. So when I got my lash extensions back on, my eyes went quite red, purely because they're so sensitive. It's not the lash extensions, like they're fine now. They just went like red underneath and they're a bit sore, but eye drops just solved that pretty much and they're all good now. Oh yes, one thing that is super weird, my nose is really dry. You think like I wouldn't be baffled by this, but it's just interesting. Like my nose, the inside of my nose gets super dry and sometimes it'll actually bleed but like not in a scary way it'll just be like this is super TMI but I mean we're all human here your boogers oh I don't like saying that they'll be like bloody oh this is gonna get demonetized <laughs> but it's just because the skin is so dry and sometimes yeah my nose will be really itchy and then if you scratch it too much it'll irritate it and it'll start to bleed at one point I actually like scratched it too much and I like cut inside my nose and that was kind of annoying for like a couple weeks but everything's pretty good at the moment so fingers crossed that that doesn't happen again because it was really annoying but yeah everything about me is just dry what else what else what else um red face is still a thing as you guys saw comes up every now and then especially when my body gets like hot I'm not very good at controlling my internal body temperatures if I drink a cup of tea I will get really hot <laughs> No matter where I am, no matter how cold it is outside, I get hot. But yes, so that is my basically five, six, and seven month update on Rakutane. I probably won't do an eight month. I'll do a wrap up video next. So that's gonna be super exciting. I feel like I'll try and put like a compilation together of my skin over time. But yeah, one final overview of my skin. She's looking pretty gold. Cool. Hope. But yeah, that is it for the video today. If you guys are on Rakuten yourselves, I'd love it if you could comment down below and share like your experiences, what you've noticed with side effects. I'd love to know because I feel like it's super interesting and we can all like share our dry skin with each other. <laughs> but as always, I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and I shall see you in my next one. Bye!